When Benedict Magnusson does a bit of tidying in the garden, he tends to find it easier than most of us. Take over any time. Hey, hold there. He makes light work of even a 40-pound paving slab. At 23 stone, strongman Benedict is a force to be reckoned with. I have a special talent, and I enjoy my special talent. Benedict's talent is raw strength. It's already brought the 24-year-old worldwide fame in the sport of powerlifting. <laughs> this year, Benedict attempted a world record by deadlifting eight huge lorry tires, a total of 80 stone in weight. I was asked how much do you want on the bar, and I just smiled and I said, just put 500 kilos. He thought I was joking, so I was asked again. <laughs> When it came to lifting it, it felt like nothing. It just felt like lifting a, a shopping bag. It may have felt like a shopping bag, but he'd actually lifted over half a ton of tires. <laughs> Growing up in Iceland, Benedict realized from an early age that he was different. I always felt when I was a child that, that uh, I was much stronger than all the other kids because I basically always had to ha hold back all the time in, in all the games we were playing. For instance, if we were playing football outside, I could, I could very easily just throw the, the boys around. <laughs> Today is another special occasion, as Benedict's tying the knot with his English partner. I have a problem. My neck has grown. But what kind of woman can handle one of the most powerful men on the planet? 24-year-old Gemma Taylor, the bride-to-be, has won the title of Britain's strongest woman. As well as pulling an eight-ton truck, she can lift the equivalent of three grown men. I've always been fascinated by strength. I've always been um, amazed by, by what people can, can achieve and, and do. At a very young age, I was um, throwing hay bales around in the stables and not thinking anything of it, and then watching adults struggling with half a hay bale, and I'm thinking, why are you struggling with half a hay bale when I've just thrown a full hay bale at them? 17 seconds. I think that was when I first realised that I was a little bit different from others. <laughs> this is a problem when you've got a midget for a mother. It's strength, I just don't know where it comes from. I'm not a weakling, but I don't have strength in Gemma's category. So it's been a big surprise, really. <laughs> Hello, Gemma and Penny. Blessed are you, O Lord our God. The strongest couple in the world first met two years ago at a power sports event. He just told me that I was the most beautiful girl in the whole area. <laughs> I was going to say world, but I thought it was a bit too much. <laughs> Thanks. Immediately when I met Gemma, I, I decided to marry her. Immediately when I saw her. And so let us pray. Gemma's a strong woman. Maybe, maybe I need a strong woman to handle me. <laughs> Amen. After two weeks' honeymoon, the couple are setting up home. But even ordinary life can benefit from extraordinary power. <sighs> Could be a nice bird feeder. It's very, very handy having a strong husband. We use our strength as much as we can, but you know, there's, there's still a sense of being human, and, and if, if there's a trolley around, then we'll use the trolley. <laughs> But it's just getting into the trolley that's easy for us. <laughs> here you go. Thank you in here. Much. Yes, that's fine. Thank you. Thank you. It's a two-person hammock. That's the thing. 
Yeah, but the last one I broke. I know, but this is for two people, so it'll take your weight. Yeah? Yeah. Is it gonna hold? I'm gonna fall out. You look out. really comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually really nice. Is it? Yeah. I wouldn't want the second person in here, though. <laughs> it's nice for me. The world's strongest couple are today on a shopping trip with a difference. That's for two, two kids. Oh. I think we're only having one. Gemma is expecting a baby. Well, we both cried, actually. Not me. I'm tough. You cried. <laughs> we were very, very, very happy. They're looking for a baby carrier, but when you've got a 60-inch chest, that's not easy. Make it to the biggest it can go. Yeah. OK. Where does the baby sit? Where is this supposed to go? It's supposed to stay at the front. Together. <laughs> It's made for mittens. <laughs> well, I never thought this would be as big a problem as it is. The world is really designed for average people. And when physically you can't fit into the average, you do see the world from a completely different people angle. can be very frustrating. Yes. Benedict, this one says, adjusts in seconds to fit mums, dads and babies of all <laughs> shapes and sizes. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's just hope baby money is going to be really, really small. <laughs> With two months to the birth, the world's strongest couple are already forming an idea of what their baby will be like. I think it's going to be a mini Benedict. You're hoping it's going to be a mini I'm Benedict. hoping it's going to be a mini Benedict. <laughs> never known any baby be a product of two strength athletes before. Eat me, he says. <laughs> Very fascinated to know what, what similarities genetically the baby's going to have to us. Gemma also wants to know if her intensive training regime will help her give birth without the need for pain relief. I am confident that, that I will be able to control my pain barrier. Whilst, in, whilst giving birth, because I just feel that it's something that I'm very used to. I don't feel any pain whilst I'm lifting, ever. It's total positive thinking, to a point, actually, where just before you lift, there is nothing in your head. <laughs> it's totally clear and it's totally um, empty. It's, it's beautiful, it's actually quite peaceful. <sighs> The whole labour process is going to be extremely quick and um, he's actually going to fly out. And I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> In the home of the world's strongest couple... Oh, whoa. Like that. There's a new man about the house. He used to always lift himself up like that. Benedict Jr. weighed in at a healthy 10 pounds, one ounce. Little baby push-ups. <laughs> there you go. When he came out, I could just, I saw his head and then, <laughs> then the rest of him, and he was a lot bigger than I expected the baby to be. <laughs> he was definitely the biggest baby on the world. We weren't expecting a small one. <laughs> it's amazing how 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 much. I just don't really believe that he fit in my tummy. <laughs> Gemma had carefully planned to give birth without the use of pain-relieving drugs. Pain relief-wise, I had everything, I think. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and I'm not ashamed to admit it. <laughs> I had everything because my pain barrier sucks. <laughs> As painful experiences go, I do think it's very much less painful pulling trucks. <laughs> Now six weeks old and over two foot tall, Benedict is growing up fast. This was his baby grow when he came home from the hospital, which, is, uh, which was newborn size, um, and it didn't last him very long. It became very tight very quickly. So my mum bought me some uh, new baby grows, and, and I thought they were huge, but 
they actually they fit him and they're three to six month old. So at six weeks old, he's in three to six month old clothing. He's definitely got Benny's legs because he came out and he had definition in his thighs. And I was just like, that's fab. The first thing I noticed were these huge quads. <laughs> and I thought, you're going to be an awesome kicker. So, and he has been actually, he's been kicking like crazy. Everybody says he, he looks exactly like me and he's probably going to be strong. He's got an amazing grip. <laughs> so he's exactly like his father. <laughs>